Just, just to speak about Ryan for, for, in a, a little bit more, more depth. He kind of, I mean, sort of almost slightly came under the radar because he was, he was a late, late signing and there was more of a fanfare about the, the earlier ones. And obviously he didn't start because he, hadn't got, he, he, he hasn't got used to your style of play and he's still learning. But we did see that he does have this sort of raw power and the running ability. And yeah. So, uh, and obviously, raw power. Yeah. yeah, I'm not sure a lot of people would have been, would have described him in the past. The raw power is technically incredibly good. The first touch is insane. Um, the speed up is top class. Really good shooter. What we saw with the Darwin goal, which was disallowed, um, but the, 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 the ball was a fireball um, before. So that's he's a really good player. He was a really good player, yes, and he came late, and yes, we play slightly different, and yes, that needs time to adapt, and um, and that's what, what we can give him, thank God. And he's completely happy with it, and he's in the group, and he realized in each training session that we, he gets treated exactly like all the others, if he starts or not, we have, he gets even a few more information in specific moments. He can see what the other boys do in similar positions, he can watch it, he learns where he's a smart boy. Oh, everything goes in the right direction. That's really, really nice to see. Um, and had now assists in the other games, and now he has, uh, um, he has his first goal. Um, no, it's good. Long may it continue. Very important for us. Yeah, you can just think back to the Brighton away game last season. Yes, I thank you very don't much. Want a repeat of that, <laughs> sorry. Uh, but you're confident there won't be a repeat of that given. You know the the options at your disposal now. I know you, you've mentioned the players that you're going to be missing, but whichever option you have, if you play like we played last year, you will get the massive knock again. That's how it is. Um, so we should play better, and I think we can play better. That's the first step into the right direction. That's what we have to make sure. Um, Brighton had now, I think, a few results um, which didn't go exactly in, 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 their, in their way, but that's a completely normal situation in, in the development. He they had a lot of change, lost top players, one of them we got, um, and still played incredible football, and we only we could watch a little bit before the game. Until we couldn't see the first half, when they were turning down, I saw the second half, and they put Marseille massively under pressure, So um, and got a point there, so we expect a, a really tough game, a really tough game against one of the best sides in the league, best coached best coached team in the league, um, I would say, because uh, where they're coming from. And uh, yes, Graham did already a lot of stuff, um, and, and that's a really smart move from Potter to Deserbi, to be honest. But they made really big steps and super consistent, different formations, different players, um, lineups. Wow. And, and you always see Brighton football. And I couldn't respect that more. So, um, but I'm really looking forward to the game because we have to put a few things right. Because you can look once silly, but you should not look at twice. The second time silly still can happen because they are really good. But we have to do better, and we we will give it a proper try to do better. Definitely. You're going to obviously uh, Alexis goes back to his, his old club. <laughs> Um, what have you made of his start? I'm not sure he, he can leave his brother because they are giving <laughs> 25 interviews in a row now together. As if it's the first time that two brothers played against each other in world football, or what it felt like. It's a really nice story. No, he's, he's a joke. No, nobody was interested in that, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I spoke, we spoke about football. Yeah, so, sorry, <laughs> that was a penalty. Sorry, I had to take that. Um, yeah. What have you kind of made of his start? He's had to be flexible in positions and changing in positions in games. Have you found his best position, and, and how do you think he's? No, we, did, we didn't even look for his best position yet. We just play, use him. He's a fantastic player. I love everything about him. He's super smart, tactically and off the pitch as well. So that's really, really nice to work with him. Um, yes, and. If we, as a team, defend well, he can play definitely the six, definitely. Did I know that before? I had a guess, but I was not sure, because I didn't know exactly how all the other boys will, will do defending. And because we defend more compact and better than we did in our bad phases last year, um, we have small spaces, and then it's really, really good, because he sees the situations really well. And from there, we have an extra footballer on the pitch, and it's really cool. Um, but um, best position, he's too young, 
for me to know it already. He's a midfielder. I can say tell you that he's a midfielder, and um, I'm happy about having him. Well done. Oh, yeah. See you. Hi, Jürgen. How's uh, Thiago doing? We're through to a, another international break, and I know he suffered a setback, but how close is he to a return? Yeah. It's just, uh, for him especially, it's annoying. So, like, um, oh, had now two setbacks in, in, in the rehab, not massive, but enough to take him um, off the pitch again. Obviously not the same injury, not at all, but a bit similar and as annoying as it is for Stefan Bacetic. So um, was there, played a few minutes and then felt something else. Um, that's how it is after long-term injuries from time to time. I, I don't know. I will, I will not put pressure on that. Yeah, chemical, I can't anyway. Um, if they will be back after international, we will see that. Hopefully it would be cool. Cody has a good chance that he will be already off the brace walks normal around here so um, from all the very very bad opportunities and possibilities injury wise we had I think he nearly got the best but is still injured so um, um, and Connor Connor is on the way back to his running um, but in that age group and with these kind of injuries you, you tend to give them rather three weeks more than not enough because just it has to together it's to has to do with the growing process of the body stuff like this. So I couldn't get this injury anymore. So let me say it like that, um, and that's why they need a bit of time. Last one at the back. I just want to ask about the centre back situation. I think a lot of people thought that Canate and Van Dijk would be the main two, but obviously Joel Matip's plays in the past couple of league games, so you know, there seems a real battle in there. How impressed have you been with Joel's form of late and can I see tonight really pushing to, to, to thrust himself into into the starting eleven on Sunday? Did Joel play more often than Ibu? I'm not sure. Did Joel more play more often no, than Ibu? he's played the past couple of games in the league. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So we make, don't make a difference between league games and cup games and stuff. We just play football. Want to win the football? The next football game ahead of us. So that means um, I didn't make a decision who, who play. I know that they all can play together. It's about um, the boys had a little bit of history when they play too often that they then get injured. We had that in the past, and we tried to share the really high intense part if, as long as it's possible. Maybe after national break it's not possible anymore. Then two and a half play all the games. That's possible as well. So I'm just happy that nobody won a race, nobody lost the race. Joe Gomez. Played super on right back. I'm pretty sure he and played a really good game. Did he play on Salah half as well? Which game was that? Salah. Villa. That was a good game. So um, means they're all there, and we all we need them all. There's no, I didn't make a decision. It's just about who is now ready to go. And after international, I hope they come all back. Now they first Brighton, but then we have them give them all again to all different countries, and then we will make a decision for the next game.